Welcome back to Pop Trigger, everybody. Uh, we're here with uh, Omar Miller from Ballers. You also know him from Eight Mile, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, like so much everything. I was just on your IMDb page and I kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. You've done so much. Um, so the question is, with all the people you've worked with, who, if you had to choose between Eminem, 50 Cent, and The Rock, who you could only take one with you on like a like a road trip, who would you go with? On a road trip? Yep. Oh man, that's a tough one uh, because both all three of those guys, it's gonna be a nightmare to go anywhere with them. <laughs> oh, okay. Only because people won't leave you alone. Right. These are like mega famous people. I can't even explain to you the kind of fame that you witness when you're around these kind of people. Mega fame. Like I remember one time we hopped in a car near Yankee Stadium. We were shooting in uh, for 50s movie, and he had like the FBI card with the black suburban with the lights, and the people got out the way when we're driving down. I was like, damn, it, did you get elected? And it was a, such a bizarre scenario. And Dwayne, forget about it. He's a, you look at his Instagram, he's right. got his jet flying every yeah, 10 minutes. And you know what? It's gonna be with Dwayne because Dwayne's got the PJ. You're right. So he's gonna wherever fly. we're going is gonna be in I haven't said, comfort. Have you been, have you been on the jet? Because he's a big guy. Have you been on, on the jet? Like, I've been on a jet. I haven't been on Dwayne's jet because I didn't have anything to promote in China. But <laughs> I was uh I've been on I've been on the, the plenty of them. Oh, see I've never. That's like a goal that I've always had that I literally don't know how to go about accomplishing. Like, you need to to actually go steal some music and uh <laughs> see where that takes you. Get your get your weight up financially. Right. No, that you know what? It's an it's an uh, it's a spoiling kind of experience. Yeah. It's like sitting courtside at a basketball game because then you don't really want to go anywhere else. Yeah. So but then you know you're contributing to global warming, so it's kind of like yeah, <laughs> it's a tough okay. thing. There's you could that. then say, you know what? I guess JetBlue ain't so bad. Right? Then right. you can fly Spirit and even it all uh, out. No, you're fine. No, don't Ooh. or leave you it. and the other 900 Ooh. people on the plane. It's all good. In your row. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, speaking of ballers, uh, you have a lot of fans. It's an insanely popular show. Uh, one video that we found was a uh, one particular fan, Elizabeth Warren. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. She was asked about the show. We have the clips. We so got friends in our places, right? <laughs> let's take a look. I read something you, you said recently, and I, I frankly found it a little shocking. Uh, and I need to use this opportunity to ask, which is that you said that you're a big fan of the show Ballers. Oh, yes. Um, now, we're, we're HBO guys, but Game of Thrones, John Oliver, Barry's really good. Uh -uh. But is it The Rock? Is it the, oh. the, the whole thing? Like, why Ballers? It is The Rock. <laughs> You got up so close to the mic. <laughs> she did. Oh, you couldn't even hear it. No. Oh, it's it's the the rock. Rock. She's right. elevated. She's right. Like, right. Um, it's the rock. Go to commercial. <laughs> right. Uh, she needed yeah. a moment There's after that. Yes. <laughs> so season four, how's it been? How's it been yeah. working on that show? It's fantastic. I mean, the show this year, we moved out to the West Coast. So yeah. we're best coast in it now. You're going to see a lot more of the California palm trees and surf and skate. Um, you see my character has a lot to do with the Rams. And we'll see how long that lasts. But... Um, the show launched in Miami, right. and we shot there for a few years, and it was fantastic. Right. And now, you know, in the essence of things, in the growth of the show, the characters grow and progress in their lives, and I think that's what people like about it, is that there's a consistency of camaraderie, but there's also change. Yeah. And this year, you're going to see as, as the season progresses, they actually are going to catch some change, because this is uh, we're, we're hitting the actual issues this year. Did you expect the show to blow up like it did? I mean, it's a massive. Absolutely. Hit. You, yeah. You this are, is, this yeah. is the this yeah. is the first this is the first project I've ever been on uh -huh. that I would say was a favorite and not an underdog. In general, entertainment, you're in the underdog business. Right. And this was not an underdog. <laughs> this was <laughs> this was HBO, right. The Rock, yeah. Mark Wahlberg's involved, and Peter Berg shot the pilot. So awesome. it's like it's so this was this is uh, as about a much of a shoe in as you can get, but. <laughs> The crazy part is, is you still have to go make the show. Right. Yeah. And people, thank God, I, I don't know, I, I tell people that we hit a zenith, it seems like, between sports and finance. And people love both of those things. I am not a sports fan, but I have a lot of friends who are, and they got me watching Ballers. I'm like religiously when Ballers is on, mm -hmm. it's 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 like how first of all the show stops really abruptly sometimes. I'm like, I was just getting into it. Oh, Credit. Yeah, we yeah, get yeah. that a lot. It's like yeah. 
It's we like, get that out. Yeah, it's and you like, know no. what? It's like that stripper that you just can't get enough of. <laughs> right. The tease yeah. is real. Yes. And so I got into it. Now I'm coming I, to the stage. <laughs> a sparkle Diamond. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The so, Sparkle Diamond has a special place in his heart. <laughs> that would be my that would either be my drag name or a stripper name. Sparkle Diamond. Listen, this is shi- shine bright like a diamond. Right. Yeah. Uh, you now in addition to being on a fantastic show, being a fantastic actor, you also Thank have you. um Philanthropic Ventures, the Omar Miller Foundation. Yeah, so you know what? We started this, my brother and I started this um, when I was on CSI Miami, and I was driving, and I heard something, and it was in the deep part of the Depression, and President Obama was doing all this stuff to try to help the, the country out, and I was listening to NPR, and they were talking about how donations to food kitchens and uh, charitable donations in general were at an all-time low. Yeah. And which meant that there was definitely a trickle down economy for things going bad. And with that, uh, we wanted to figure out something that we could do. So we contacted our show and some other shows uh, about using all of the food that gets left over on sets and actually distributing it properly to, um, you know, to different food kitchens, pantries, the whole song and dance. And we ended up working with a, a great organization here called the Union Station Homeless Services Center and went out and fed a bunch of people for Christmas and Thanksgiving and out in the park in Pasadena. And it was, you know, really, really solid. So we're, we're just looking to do some good. Yeah, you are, you're, you're, to, you're doing some good. Trying to do some good, at least every now and then, you know. And yeah. it's uh, it's important. Things are really well for for me, so I don't, you know. Obviously, I'm not missing many meals, so I'd like to distribute when uh, when possible. Yeah, That's awesome. Omar, you're super into sports. You yes. host the Ozone podcast. Yes. All right, Serena Williams is on. The, she's on Williams. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Queen is on the cover <laughs> of Time. You know, what I mean? you gotta have respect. And she said that Kaepernick would win the Super Bowl if he got a chance to play um, and was hired. What are your thoughts on the kneeling protest in the NFL? First of all, I think it's great because you called it the kneeling protest. Uh, It it keeps getting convoluted. The message is convoluted. I actually think it's at a point where it's a lose-lose because now that uh, the current president has gotten involved and has been so inflammatory and has purposely missed the point to use it as a political tool, the purpose of what it is that the uh, protest is about is about protesting inequality on a largest platform that these fellas have. Mm-hmm. And I've found that there's an uh, overwhelming number of vets who are actually supportive of it and of the right to protest. Constantly, it's become something different, and I think uh, it's it's become something that is an exposure of the divide that we have in America. And honestly, until we start having conversations about how differently that people of color see this country than non-people of color see the country, we're never gonna be able to get past it. So I hope that there's some progress this season in it, and it's not just a bunch of anger. I hope that that they actually um, you know, achieve the goal of bringing awareness to injustices by authorities to and against people of color. Yeah. This, is, this is the whole point of the thing. Now, as far as Colin winning the Super Bowl, hey man, Tom Brady can't even win the Super Bowl every year, so it's tough. But I was actually at the Super Bowl in New Orleans when Colin was one pass away from actually winning the Super Bowl. So it's not out of the realm of possibility, but you got to have a job to do that. Never miss another Pop Trigger video. It is as easy as ringing the bell below so you get notified every time we upload a new one. And what you should do is join TYT, become a member. Download our TYT Plus app and go to tyt.com slash join right now.